What's up guys and welcome back to the AV Club. Today we have the hub versus the belt motor. You guys should just do me a favor and punch that subscribe button and then we'll get right into it like we always do. Uh, well actually we'll go over the pluses of both and I'll just be completely honest on everything and frank. Um, so let's start with the belts. Belts, you can change a belt faster than you can change a hub motor. That's just how it is. Belts are designed to literally slip off uh, the pulley system and then you put a new one on, you put the wheel back on, you're done. With the hub motor, on the other hand, if the hub breaks, that hub is part of the wheel, you are done riding for the day unless you have an extra wheel in your backpack, which most people do not. But most people have belts. Another benefit of the belt, you're gonna have more torque, okay? Because there's different pulley systems and different teeth gears, you can actually get different ratios, like a one to two ratio. Instead of the normal one to one ratio, they can just get with a hub motor. You can go up higher grades because you have more torque and you have more customizable on the gears. Like I said, you can change the pulley system to change the teeth and you can also change out the wheels and make them bigger. With a hub, you're kind of stuck with the hub and the wheel that it comes with. Now, the pluses for hubs, they are a lot quieter than belts. So if you're trying to be a ninja going through town, they definitely will um, give you that feel. They have a sleeker look, you don't have any wires, and you have kind of a free ride uh, capability. So if the board dies, you can actually push the board like a normal kick foot board without any like kickback whatsoever uh, push. With a belt, you're gonna have some type of friction. So if you need to kick push it, you probably wanna take the belts off before you actually do that. Now the minuses of a belt, there is no free ride. So like I said, you have to take the belts off. It's also louder because of the belt going through the teeth and the gears. It's gonna be louder than the actual hub motor. Not to mention rocks get in the belts and they eat through the belt. So the belt will probably last anywhere from two to 300 miles before you have to replace it. And of course, belts also wear down faster than hubs. If hubs broke as much as belts, you probably have a lot of pissed off hub motor owners. Hub motors do not last on hills. If you live in a flat land like Nebraska, Illinois, Iowa. If you live in a place with flat land like Illinois, Nebraska, Iowa, belts, hubs, they're all good, but hubs still are just not gonna stand the test of time, especially when it gets out to these hills. Uh, the minuses? They are a lot harder to replace. You need to literally take off the whole entire wheel instead of just taking off a belt. Plus, there's not as much torque, and when you have to change a hub going down the road, it's really hard compared to just like taking a belt off, putting a new one on, and away you go. Now, people are gonna sit here and argue about belts or hub motor drives for the end of time. Uh, in my personal opinion, just ride what you like. Uh, don't really care about what anyone else says. If you guys ever want to see a direct drive video, uh, we will get into that too and show you the difference between hubs, direct, and belt drives because there's the three different drives and I'm not sure everyone knows that. So uh, if you guys could just do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.